Welcome everyone. I hope you're having a, a fantastic afternoon my, like myself. Glad to have you all here. I, I think we've uh, hit adequate numbers to, to make for an interesting discussion and presentation for today. Um, my name's Dan Langford. Um, I'm a cons the mobility consultant at Urban Foresight. Um, here today to, to tell you all about the launch of the Sustainable Mobility Cluster Builder that we have the pleasure of leading today. Um, Urban Foresight's a multi multidisciplinary practice consultancy uh, dedicated to accelerating the next generation of technology, services, and policy frameworks for cities. Uh, we work with ambitious companies around the world uh, on projects that improve lives, protect the environment, and boost local economies. Um, as I mentioned, delighted to be uh, charged with leading this cluster builder um, on behalf of Scottish Enterprise, EIDF, Transport Scotland, and the Highlands and Islands Enterprise. Um, and it's fantastic to have you all here today to, to hear about what we're getting up to. Um, this is the, the first event in a series, which we'll, we'll discuss the others a little bit later, but the first event in the series over the next 24 months. Um, and, and today we'll be exploring why we exist, uh, having some interesting conversations with companies working in sustainable mobility um, and various other presentations and presentations of opportunities that you can get, of, get involved in. Thought I might, um, so this is the, the, the program, capitalizing on opportunities in sustainable mobility, supporting the Scottish government targets to decarbonize transportation, um, as well as take advantage of opportunities globally as well. Um, I thought I might start off by talking a little bit about what mobility is. Um, it sounds like it might be kind of obvious to some of us, but from my understanding and, and having been in this industry for about five or six years now, the term is still relatively new. Um, I recall when, when I did a Google search back in about 2017, um, you know, if you searched mobility, what, what actually came up on the screen basically was you either end up with motorized wheelchairs um, or, or different mobile phone applications. But things have significantly changed um, as a result of the disruption that's happening in transportation. So, I mean, as you see on the screen there, we've got a, a definition of what mobility really is. And, and of course, the creation of this cluster builder is, is really about, you know, what is the global opportunity? Um, uh, referring to the US always provides some, some significant numbers. So, you know, looking at the, uh, it's about 10% of the GDP of the United States. Um, you know, there is a, transportation itself has a significant impact. So that's, you know, looking at it from a financial perspective. Um, jumping forward a little bit though, you know, we're talking about sustainable mobility specifically. And, and you know, that is one of the reasons why this cluster builder was created here in Scotland. Uh, you can see there that transportation is one of, if not the biggest contributor to uh, you know, climate change and greenhouse gases and has a significant impact on, on the environment. And, and that's why we're having this focus. You know, one, it's a significant opportunity. Two, it has you know a significant impact on the environment. So that combination coming together absolutely makes sense for us to, to focus on this particular area. Um, and you know, digging into to what sustainable mobility is in a little bit more, where we're covering, it's quite a broad spectrum of, of what it actually covers. Um, these are a few categories that we, we put together to, to attempt to group or give people an idea of, of what mobility can encompass. Uh, connected and automated, that's kind of the, what you hear about in the news and, and is the, the exciting front end of, of mobility. Energy and powertrain is something that is Scotland's only too familiar with. Um, you know, I personally believe that this is kind of a niche where Scotland can really make a difference having that background of energy, background in energy, and you know, with the talent and expertise that's available here. Um, applying it to the future of transportation is is fairly significant. Mobility services is really referring to sort of the, the data platforms, um, you know, mobility as a service, and the different technologies that, that focus on the delivery of transportation services. And of course, we can't forget about the drones and aviation, um, you know, the applications of drones on the on the in, in the marketplace is relatively new as well. And of course, maritime. And you know, the, there's a whole sector there as well that supplies, and we, we'll hear from a couple of those companies today that supplies into mobility and transportation, but may not recognize themselves as mobility companies. 
so why you know digging more into you know why a sustainable mobility cluster uh, here in Scotland, we Scottish government has some of the most aggressive climate targets on the planet, and and as I mentioned before, with transportation being a major contributor to that, uh, it only makes sense that uh, we put a consistent, concerted, focused effort on on achieving those goals. Um, how we're actually going to do that is, uh, you know, we're here to foster better linkages to funding. Uh, to potential clients, to partners from around the world and in Scotland to help achieve those goals, <clears throat> as well as uh, you know, building a real community to, to focus that effort, uh, bringing together the SMEs and, and other players within the, the Scottish ecosystem um, to, to achieve those goals and uh, raise the visibility of the opportunities that are actually, actually available because they are significant. While I can talk about you know, the numbers and the economic the economic and climate impact of transportation, you know, without real substance behind that and real opportunities that we can pursue. Um, you know, it's all just uh, metrics that we can discuss, but we hope to bring some real concrete and material opportunities to pursue um, to the table. And, and again, at the end of this uh, conversation today, we'll have probably more than we have time for today, but in, in future events, uh, these quarterly events that we'll be holding, they will be more focused upon the opportunities that are, are available. So I definitely encourage you to, to come back for more as we move forward. So just to, to summarize again, uh, what I was just saying, you know, we're, we're looking at promoting solutions to those big societal challenges, creating a platform and a network and a community for collaboration and you know, growing and focusing on those key strengths that Scotland has um, to, to generate significant opportunities both at home and abroad. As I mentioned, the the, the events that, these are an, an idea of when the events occur going forward. Um, please do tune in and, and stay in touch so that we can get engaged in these. At the moment, they will be thematic, but these may change as we move forward, as priority ch priorities and changes and as different opportunities arrive arise. So what I'll do now is uh, hand quickly over to Andy McDonald, who's going to say a few words as well about the uh, Sustainable Mobility Cluster Builder and uh, why it's of interest to, to, to Scottish Enterprise. So Andy, I'll just make you the presenter. Dan, thank you very much. Um, hopefully you can hear me. Um, and my, I'd like to add my welcomes to, to, to those of Dan, to everyone joining us today. This this is a hugely important step for us uh, in the economic development agencies ourselves and Scottish Enterprise and our colleagues in, in Highlands and Islands Enterprise and South of Scotland Enterprise, along with colleagues in the Scottish Government and Transport Scotland. Um, we are clearly attempting to deliver to the government's great ambitions on the climate challenge that we face. Um, but to do it in a manner that it creates economic opportunity for Scotland and for businesses in Scotland. Uh, and it's really important that we have a, this, this route to, to advise, to alert, to make people aware of what the opportunities are and to help bring together uh, the sector and the companies who could be part of the sector around these opportunities to capture that. Um, and as Dan said, this is going to be an ongoing process. We're delighted to have Urban Foresight be part of the, the, the mechanism we've got and to bring that expertise to bear. Um, we have, over the past few months, brought a number of projects and programmes together which start to underpin and develop the opportunity to uh, support the targets for the decarbonisation of transport. Um, decarbonisation of transport sits alongside heat and energy production as the two, big, the two other big areas that uh, will enable Scotland to meet its very ambitious climate targets. It's very appropriate in the year when COP26 is going to be in Scotland and a showcase, a light will be shining on Scotland to, for us to be able to demonstrate um, that we are really seriously and aggressively attacking uh, the challenges we face and trying to do our bit, not just for the planet, but to do it in a just, timely fashion that brings everyone with us, that creates economic opportunity, and creates wealth, but at the same time recognises this is about uh, the, recognising the impact on the environment and, and bringing our services and the transport being a critical one of those uh, forward in a, in a manner which has the, the greatest positive impact on the environment. I mentioned earlier some, we've already um, delivered some key aspects of the programme and project. We've, the, uh, if you're familiar with the 
program in Dundee, the project in Dundee around the, the former Michelin Tire Factory, the Michelin Scotland Innovation Park, as it now is, um, a partnership program with uh, with Dundee, with uh, Transport Scotland, with Scottish Enterprise, and of course with Michelin, uh, continuing to have an involvement in the in the project, um, bringing together some key elements to to bring a focus to innovation, to development, to manufacturing, and to training and skills as well um, around the opportunity. Our colleagues in Transport Scotland um, just last week announced funding of something in the order of four million pounds for the Locate facility, which is a, a drivetrain development uh, facility to bring together potential users of low carbon transport and, and developers of the technology to work out and develop what the ideal combinations are, particularly for things like fleets, so local vehicle fleets, local authority fleets, to get the right combination of efficiency and make it as, as easy as possible to shift to, to a, a low carbon transport mode. Um, at the same time, um, the Driving the Electric Revolution UK government programme, the Scottish uh, part of that, uh, which is going to be managed by a combination of the Power Networks Demonstration Centre and College in Strathclyde and St Andrews Universities, um, that too has received some significant additional funding um, and is beginning to develop. And that's looking at the the electric side of transport. So that's that's not just road transport; it's electric vehicle, it's electric air, it's rail. Um, and, and this is this process, this this opportunity stretches across, as, as Dan touched on earlier, all modes of transport, but also all the things that sit behind that, the control systems, the, the software, the the infrastructure that needs to go with that. Um, <clears throat> within Scottish Enterprise, we uh, announced last week we will be making a call in, in the next couple of months um, for uh, support using, utilising funding from the Scottish Government's Green Jobs Fund. Uh, which will be aimed at calling opportunity for companies to bring forward projects across a wide range of environmental and uh, uh, economic opportunities, which which contribute to the creation of new high-value green jobs. Um, and again, we see that as being an important part of this infrastructure alongside uh, the creation of this 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 opportunity with the the cluster builder. Um, it's very clear that this this is about the starting point for a, for a, the future. Um, we have targets over the next two three years. We clearly have the government's goals of 20, to, out to 2045, so a net zero economy. And but this is a societal change as well, and that's another key part of bringing together the the work that that we'll be doing through the cluster bill is understanding not just what we need to do around the the, the tools, the materials, the the vehicles. But the whole structure that goes around that, and all the opportunity that that brings to, to do this in a fair, just way, and the the Just Transition Commission, the Scottish Government's Commission, announced its its findings last week as well, and said there are a number of challenges about how we get to those low, car low carbon targets, and transport forms a key part of that. Mobility as a whole forms a key part of that as well, and the changes in the way that we move and uh, move goods, move people, and and get around and 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 work within our society, is all a part of that. And we're going to go on the, the rest of this afternoon and hear, as, as Dan said, from some companies and from some other colleagues about some of the tools and resources that are available and how some companies have started to make use of those um, and bring those those things together. And that's part of the, the function of this cluster building is to, to create a community, to share our knowledge, to share our ideas, to share our thinking uh, and to use those to, to build the future for sustainable mobility in Scotland. So I'm delighted to welcome everybody here. This is a hugely important step forward for us in this space. Um, and I, like everyone else, look forward to the remainder of the afternoon and to what we learn.